And it's just these things that I'm thinking for hours And I'm picking my hair out in clumps in the shower Oh my god, I'm sweating Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel My name is Beth If you are new here and I like to talk about music If you know anything about me, you know that I have been waiting for Halsey to return and release new music I'm waiting patiently, but waiting nonetheless And I really did not think it was going to be this year I thought it was going to be next year But as of yesterday she has announced that her fifth album is coming out soon and we have the first single from it which is called The End. I am so, I would say excited for this but I know it's probably gonna be a really heavy song based on what she said on Instagram. It seems like it might be about some kind of illness that she had. I don't, I'm not sure if it's cancer or some sort of like autoimmune disease. I don't really know but I know that it's about a hard time that she's been through and has hopefully come out the other side, but I don't really know. So going into it, I'm a little bit nervous, you know, that we're gonna get into some heavy stuff, but it also makes me excited because I feel like it could be a really deep and really meaningful song. And I think I could really use that right now just because, I don't know, I like deep, meaningful songs and I feel like Halsey's music is always so, so vulnerable. It's so honest. I sincerely think she is one of the most honest songwriters in this day and age. I think she's one of the most underrated, underappreciated people in the pop industry. She is one of my favorite artists of all time. The the artwork for the single really reminds me of the movie Vertigo. So without further ado, I don't know why I'm holding this like it's my child, but without further ado, let's check out the end. Every couple of years now, the doctor says I'm sick, pulls out a brand new bag of tricks. And at first it was my brain, then a skeleton in pain. I don't like to complain, but I'm saying sorry When I met you, I thought I was damaged goods Had a fucked up childhood If we knew it was the end of the world Would you like to stay a while? Would you leave when it gets hard? Wow, so it's just kind of an acoustic song. It is really reminding me of 929 ironically, um, really, really reminding me of that song and just that stream of consciousness, vulnerable, again, very honest storytelling. Like this happened, then this happened, specific details. Complain, but I'm saying sorry. She's saying sorry, even though she has nothing to be sorry about. Like obviously you can't control if you're sick or well. Still is my brain. Then a skeleton in pain When I met you I thought I was damaged goods And there's poison in my brain and in my blood It's interesting that she says, you know, there's poison in my brain and my blood I don't know if that means she has a brain condition and a blood condition Or if maybe the brain part is a mental thing like I'm you know I'm poisoned by anxiety and depression which are common things to struggle with and then also I have a blood condition I don't know it was the end of the world could you love me like a child could you hold me in the dark like begging for comfort from someone would you leave when it gets hard but are you gonna leave me when it gets hard to the clinic and I asked to see the man With his white coat and his stethoscope Like a snake around his hand I finally found a lover Who's better for my liver So we wrestled in the mud Cause once my God destroys the flesh Then there's the flood If you knew it was the end I have chills all over I feel like this song is going to be overlooked and probably won't make it to the to the tops of any charts like her music usually does simply because it is more acoustic, it is more personal than probably anything she's ever written. And when that's the case, you know, I feel like the charts don't pick it up. It's not played on the radio. So I don't think this is going to be like her new hit song, which is unfortunate because 
you know, just because something is more personal or more acoustic obviously doesn't mean it's any less quality. So Halsey has been diagnosed with lupus, an autoimmune disease. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease, happens when your immune system attacks healthy cells and tissues by mistake. It causes inflammation, can damage basically all the parts of the body. Cool. Obviously I'm being sarcastic, but no wonder she said, you know, I have poison in my brain and my blood. On a much smaller scale, I did have something where I had to continually go to the doctor and, you know, every single time I went, they were like, okay, we're going to try this other thing to get rid of this, you know, whatever is happening. And it is so exhausting, like having to go back and go back and go back and still not having the issue resolved. This is a even worse situation than what I had at that time. So I can only imagine, you know, how frustrating it is for her. Once my God destroys the flesh, then there's the flood. I don't know what that means right now, but sounds pretty deep. Maybe we could build an ark. We could sail on broken oh, driftwood okay. through the sopping wet rain. In the water, there's a doctor who didn't listen to my claim. He's circling the train. Yeah, there are doctors who will just not believe your situation. When I met you, I said I would never die. But the joke was always mine. I know it's not the end of the world. But could you pick me up at eight? Cause my treatment starts today. Whatever is going on, it sounds like, you know, it's this loop she can't get out of. Like she continually goes and gets worked on and the doctors try different things and it's just not really getting anywhere, which is just such a like exhausting, frustrating place to be. And she likens it obviously to the end of the world and like Noah, Noah's Ark, the flood. It just feels like the end of her world because she can't live her life like she wants to. They're not able to do the things that they once were able to do. And that's just a very depressing state. I think it was really honest. It was really authentic. It didn't feel like she was trying to make a song for the charts. It just sounded like a song that they needed to write and they needed to make in order to get through this situation, um, which I really respect. And I'm glad that they're making music for themselves. It sounds like, you know, not music just to appease an audience. I'm glad that Halsey is able to turn to music in this time um, as a source of comfort. And I just wish them all the best. What's been really frustrating to me is, you know, fans just crowding the comment section of any artists that aren't releasing music and trying to like yell at them until they release music. These people are human beings. They don't owe us anything. I hope that Halsey's mental health is getting better. I'm excited for what's to come with their music. Although I know it's probably gonna be, again, a bit different than her other music, but I think that's obviously totally fine. With all that being said, I'm sure there will still be bops on the new album that's coming out and we don't have a date or anything. So I guess we're just gonna sit tight and see what happens. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, for being here. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.